hi guys today in this video i'll tell you how to fix your macbook if it does not have an admin account so this problem is very rare but for instance if you are ever caught up in this problem in this video i'll tell you the basic solution so what you need to do you have to follow these steps i'm going to explain these steps written here you don't have to do anything else this is a very simple solution you might see a lot of content in which you know people are telling you to do very extensive or very complicated things but uh, you don't have to do anything you don't have to do any form of coding just follow these steps and you'll be good to go so the first thing that you need to do is you have to put your mac in a recovery mode by restarting the mac and holding the command plus r button if you have intel macs and in the case that if you don't have intel mac you just have to press the power button if you have the silicone updated or m1 max so for m1 max you just have to press the power button for a couple of seconds and you'll be automatically sent into the recovery mode so once when you're in the recovery mode at the mac os utility screen let me just show you how does it looks like it will look like this this will be the thing you are going to see when you are in the recovery mode now from here what you need to do you have to click disk utility you have to click this you have to click disk utility and once when you click disk utility you will be sent to another screen from where you'll have to select macintosh hd macintosh hd is the internal hard drive that you have inside your macbook so the next screen will look like this like this from here you'll have to select macintosh hd once when you do that you will be taken inside the macintosh hd from there what you need to do you need to click on mount there will be option of mount data let me just show you how the screen will look like it will look like this uh, here it will be written macintosh hd which is the internal hard drive of your macbook so macintosh hd will be written here and what do you need to do you need to click on mount mount data okay it's as simple as it is and once when you do that you'll have to exit from the disk utility and then you'll be sent back to the home page the utilities folder and from there what do you need to do you need to choose terminal from the drop down box let me show you how the screen will look like then go to the utilities tab and from there you have to select terminal and once when you do that you have to enter this code or this command in terminal you can write it down you can note it down you can copy it and once when you put this command the next thing that you need to do you have to enter a following command right after that which is this one so first this command press enter and then this command so once when you put this command you have to restart your macbook and once when you restart it you'll be taken to the home page from there you can open setup assistant it will open automatically you don't need to open anything when the mac will restart and the home page will be the setup assistant so it will look like this let me just show you how it will look like this this is the setup assistant of a macbook and here you can type the name the account name and everything password and everything and then you'll click continue and once when you click continue you'll be taken to the desktop so once when we have created this now we have to set the standard account to be the admin account how to do that i'll tell you right here you have to go here to system settings and once when you're here you have to go down to users and groups and i have created this account just to give you an example now imagine that user 2 is the account that i've created through the setup assistant now what i'm going to do i'm going to click here on this i and allow this user to administer this computer i'll turn this on i'll put the password of my macbook let me just do it and then i have to restart the macbook and once when i restart it this account will act as an admin account so we'll have a new admin account so our problem will be sorted out so it's as easy as it is we have got a new admin account so we don't have to worry about having no admin accounts at all uh, i hope this video was helpful please do like the video and subscribe the channel for more content like this i'll see you in the next one